Since 1988, Jamaica has sent a bobsled team to compete in the Winter Olympics. If a tropical country like Jamaica can have ambitions at the pinnacle of winter sports, why not Singapore? As it turns out, a bunch of Singaporeans thought the same and started an ice-based athletic pursuit that has been called the most mysterious sport in the Olympics. It involves a lot of shuffling, sweeping and screaming. I'm Divya, former captain of Singapore Women's Cricket Team. In this series of unusual sports in Singapore, I'm swapping my cricket bat for a curling room because I'm game enough for curling. Okay, so let's start at the beginning. Curling is thought to be one of the oldest team sports on the planet. It traces its roots to 16th century Scotland, where people begin sliding rocks across frozen locks and ponds as a winter activity. When the Scots migrated around the world, they brought their pastime with them. Formal rules were created in 1838, and the sport made its first appearance at the Olympics in 1924. So, how did this cool sport spread to the sunny shores of Singapore? I'll tell you later, because right now, I have more weighty matters to attend to. I have to carry these? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. How heavy are these? These are 20 kg. My God, I'm glad I picked cricket. That's a lot lighter, the cricket ball and the bat. This is Lionel, my guide to the world of curling. He is a member of the Equatorial Curling Club, the only curling club in Singapore. And these? These are the club's precious curling stones or curling rocks. These are all we have in our country. We have 32 curling rocks. And these rocks are actually donated to us from this curler in New York, way back in 1998. Oh, wow. Yeah. And what happens if you break it? Um, if you break it, that's it. <laughs> that's it? Yeah, that's it. Like, we don't have any more. For a full game of curling, you will need 16 stones. Apart from the stones, Curlers will also need special footwear and these brooms. So these are wow. the older generation kind of curling brooms. Okay. They are made of wood. Yep. And at the head here, um, you see these are made of horse hair because the hair won't come off as easily as your normal domestic brooms. Wow, it's quite light. I think my cricket bat is heavier than this. And so here's the carbon fibre broom. It's a lot lighter oh, than the wow. wooden brooms, right? So lighter brooms allows us to sweep faster on the eye. Yep. And this really impacts uh, the gameplay. And so here's the sliders. What exactly are they? So this equipment allows you to slide on the eyes. Okay, so you don't have to use on. like skates? No, we don't wear skates for curling. Mm -hmm. Our sliders are made out of Teflon. And Teflon, is, as you can feel it, it's a very slippery material. Okay, so basically you just wear it and just kind of slide. Yes, that's right. And the final ingredient, lots and lots and lots of ice. Which is why we are at Singapore's only Olympic-sized skating rink and the only place suitable for curling. It's almost 10 p.m. Why do you guys start training so late? In the daytime, there are other ice spots that require us to use this ice. Mm -hmm. So that's why we can only train from 9.45 to 11.45 p.m. So, Divya, let me introduce you to the two other instructors for tonight. Sarah, my mixed doubles partner. Hi, nice meeting you. And Somerton. Hi, Hi. Hello. nice meeting you. This is the area where we will get changed, okay. put on our equipment. Okay. So here's your slider. Just on one foot? Yes, just on one foot. That's interesting. I'm actually curious, how did curling come to Singapore? How did it start? The Equatorial Curling Club has been in Singapore since 1998. It was founded by a group of expats and locals. The club has been active since then. The curling club started out with five players and at its peak had 22 members. But due to COVID, they have been inactive for more than a year. As restrictions ease, the club is looking to pick up where they left off. In fact, tonight is their first training session for the year, which I guess makes me their newest honorary member. So, Lina, I use my right foot to come down first. Yes, right? your right foot. Careful. Okay. Wow, it's a bit slippery. It's yeah. very slippery. So you have to use your sliding foot to glide and then you use your right foot to propel yourself forward. Then use your boom as a support. Guys, it's really, really slippery. It's a bit strange. I've never walked on ice before. Or rather, glide on ice. Whoa! Oh, I'm fine, I'm fine. Well, Divya, we've set it up for you to learn the basics of curling. Yep. 
Uh, we'll teach you for free, really? but it's not really free. That's what we'll I thought. We want you to be able to play a basic game of curling with us. In two weeks. In two weeks' time? Yes. I am told this is how curling is played. There are two teams with four players each. Each team takes turns sliding the stones towards the centre of a target known as the house. The play area is 45 metres long. Points are awarded to the team that places their stones closest to the centre of the house, which is also known as the button. Each round is called an end, and one round ends when all 16 stones are thrown. In a professional game, there are 10 ends in a match. Alright, so what do we do now? For our first session drill, uh, we will be focusing on your balance. That means learning how to slide. Beginners like me learn using the broom for stability. Hips up. Yep. Uh, slide the foot back. Slide right. the foot forward. Okay. And you push off. Yes, you can do it. Uh, I'm not going anywhere. No dice, or shall I say, no ice? Okay, let's try this again. Okay. So basically, when I go off, I just go. Correct, something like that. Something like that, right? With your right foot. Very nice. Very good. When you're sliding, uh, try not to hunch. Okay. So go as deep, as low as you can. Low as I can. This is actually quite tiring. My cores, my glutes, my thighs are already starting to ache. And I've only got two weeks to execute this. I'm going to keep trying till I get it. Otherwise, I'm staying over here tonight. <laughs> I better learn quick. Once I got the hang of it, I swapped the broom for the stones. Stay down. Oh. Brilliant, guys. How first, did that look? You experienced your first fall. My first fall. Yay. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. <laughs> While I was flailing and failing, I couldn't help but notice some people having a much easier time of it at the other side of the rink. I found out they were beginners like me, part of an effort to grow the sport here. We hold introduction to curling sessions approximately once a month. Uh, this is a chance for someone who's never curled in, in their life, like yourself, okay. to come and join us. And from there, if the person is interested, they can join us as a member. Lionel here is a product of the Introduction to Curl program and become one of the better curlers uh, in his short time with us. As I went through the paces, I was conscious of time ticking down. We had to vacate the rink by 11.45 p.m and the space won't be available to us again for another week or so. I can't even reach that ring there. Like, you know, my balls are even moving. Sorry, not even balls. Yeah, I'm still thinking about cricket. Maybe I'm just too tired. With such limited training opportunities, I wonder how Singapore curlers manage to compete at the elite level and how I'll ever be good enough to play an actual match. Whoa! That's out, is it? Yeah, that's out. <laughs>
One member of the team throws the stone while the other two sweep the ice in front of the stone. Sweeping melts the ice and creates a layer of water, allowing the stone to glide more easily. By sweeping more on one side, you can even curve the path of the stone. Sweeping is an essential part of curling, so naturally, that's what the team wants me to learn next. But due to the limited ice time, the Singapore curlers often make do with dryland training. Alright, you ready? Okay. Alright, so the stone is travelling down the ice, yeah. and I'm like, sweep! Good job, guys. All right, all right. That's good, that's good. As a cricket player, I do a fair bit of core and balance training. But nothing like what curling requires, though. We prepared a special drill for you to train up your balance because we saw you fell a few times yesterday. Thanks for reminding me. You're going to stand up like this on one foot, place your broom on the ground, yep. and sweep as hard as you can. Oh my goodness, this doesn't look easy. It's not easy at all. Okay. Sweep it hard. Go, go, go. Keep going. Way. My goodness, my legs are killing, my arms are killing. Just hang in there. Yeah. Five, four, on faster. Two, two and a half. Two, one and a half. Ah, come one. on. Done. Ah. Good job. Any more exercises, coaches? Please say no. Admittedly, I'm not used to training in a hot, humid car park. And so I wondered how Lionel and Sarah came to play a sport so out of place in sweltering Singapore. I was actually a table tennis player. Mm -hmm. So I played from primary school all the way to university level. I made the switch to curling after watching the Winter Olympics. That got me really interested. So back then in 2014, I signed up for a session with the Equatorial Curling Club here in Singapore. And I never looked back since. Sarah too had been curling since 2014 when she was based in the United States running a small business with her husband. When she started looking for a partner to play competitively in 2017, she was introduced to Lionel by the Equatorial Curling Club. One day I received an email from Sarah asking whether I'm interested to join a tournament overseas. Mm -hmm. At first I was a bit hesitant to, you know, to take up the offer. I only had three years of experience but after giving it a few thoughts and consideration, I thought like why not you know, just take up the challenge. Soon, the duo was off to the 2018 World Curling Tour in Estonia, a mixed doubles tournament. It marked the first time Singapore was represented at a top-tier curling tournament format. They played a total of five matches and won one. The first Singaporean victory in international curling. We were very intimidated, but we knew we were going in there for the experience. So where does Singapore stand now compared to the rest of the world? We're at a quite an infancy stage, I would say. I think we have a long way to go. For Singapore to achieve international curling standards, we really, really need a dedicated facility for curling so that we can achieve the ice conditions that uh, world championships are played on. You see, at high-level tournaments, the ice is specially prepared for curling. It needs to be nicely manicured and leveled, otherwise it will mess up the trajectory of the stone. In Singapore, the team can only train on public skating rinks, with hundreds of skaters cutting grooves into the ice daily. Let's just say the conditions are not ideal for curling. So before COVID-19, we'll go maybe once or twice a year to Japan, to Italy for our members to get used to curling on dedicated curling ice as well as to pick up some competition experience when they play against the local teams there. What's your next tournament that's coming up? We're planning to go to Italy, Ooh. Uh, Cortina, to compete uh, in the Bonspiel over there. You guys have to fund it yourself? Correct. We have to pay our pocket, like air tickets, uh, hotel. Wow, stuff. that's dedication. The level of dedication is really it's commendable. Insane. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yes. The past week I've been training on dry land. It's going to be quite different today, back on ice. So for our final match, we'll be playing a 4v4 game against that team over there. Okay. And then we'll be playing for three ends. Mm. 
I swear to say something very important. Thanks, huh? When you're sleeping, you can take off your sliders. Because the rods will be moving really quickly. In terms of movement, you'll be shuffling. He forgot to tell me the most important thing. That's terrible, and we're in the same team. Don't embarrass me, please. <laughs> This is my first practice with my teammates, Hiroshi and Yang. I'm actually eager to see if my dryland training has paid off. Go, 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 hard! Go, 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 on the way! Sweet, Divya, on the way, on the way! Almost there, go hard! Well done, okay. Okay, let's change the position this time. Go hard! Hard! All the way, go, go, go! All the way, all the way! Hard, Divya, go, go, go! Keep all you got! Very different from the uh, land training that we did. It's a bit more slippery. Correct, you're slippery, so you have to really shuffle your feet. Right? It's a good workout. It's been quite hard throwing it. I almost made it to the house. Next one, I'll definitely get it there. Oh, nice, good, nice, nice, good, nice. Good, good. Good. <laughs> nice one. I got it in the button and I got the knockout as well. Just as I started to have some fun, time was up and we had to vacate the rink again. I'm not used to having such limited training time and I confess it was quite frustrating. All of you are so passionate about the sport. Don't you guys want to train more? We are frustrated but we are determined as well to not give up. Has anyone asked you guys how ridiculous it is to play a winter sport in Singapore? They, they were very surprised. Once they heard about this word curling, they said, oh, what is curling? Of course, yeah. it's not really a common winter sport in Singapore. Quite a few of them were asking us, is there a national team that represents Singapore? But why pick this sport when there's not many opportunities and there's not much you can do or progress? For the love of curling. For the love of curling. <laughs> We're talking about the Jamaican bobsled team and how a country that is from the equatorial region is also able to take part in a winter sport and do well and be recognised for it. So I thought curling could be something that could be done for Singapore too. Curling is still not recognised in Singapore and we are still not a member of the World Curling Federation. I think we need to get to that stage first before we can really start being serious about sending teams overseas to compete. Over the last two weeks, I've been learning curling. Go, 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 hard! Go, 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 all the way! Sweet, Divya! Hi, Lionel. I'm hey. all ready for tomorrow's game. Wow, Are you ready? Great. I'm always ready. Today we'll be analysing a curling game. So the reason why I shortlisted this game, it's because they are a team that's still pretty new to curling. So this is one strategy we are going to use tomorrow. We are going to need your rocks to block out the opponent's centre region. No pressure at all, I know. I have full confidence in you. <laughs> How do you cope up with your, the intensity? I was exhausted the next day after training with you. Typically, we can only cut uh, really late at night. Sometimes I have work the next day, mm -hmm. so that can really like drain out my energy. So I'll just try to find more time to rest, to sleep. What keeps you going? I want to get as many Singaporeans to enjoy curling. And another objective is to get recognition from National Sports Association because right now curling is not a recognised sport in Singapore. Until I reach those goals, I don't think I will stop. So, big day today. The final day has come. All the training is going to be put to use. Although curling isn't my main sport, a competition is a competition and I want to make sure I win. Three rounds of 16 stones Two teams of eager curlers, one winner. So Lionel chose head, so you get so to choose. So we get the last row advantage. That means we get to throw the final stone of an end, also known as the hammer. That gives us the last move and a strategic advantage. So it's my turn now, I'm going to do the first row. So Lionel's pointing to me where I should actually slide and throw the rock. So what happened was, I didn't put in enough effort, it didn't reach the line. It has to go past the blue line there. This is my second shot. Yes! Hard! Hard! Go, go, go! Hard! All the way, all the way, all the way! Get it over the line, get it over the line! Go, 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 go! go. Ah, almost! Ah! It was this 
close, it's so close. Both my stones disappointingly were out of play. But now, time to shake it off and focus on sweeping for my teammates. The limited access we have to the ice is starting to show. Things I could do in dry land practice is so much harder in the ring. So we're in the lead at the moment. After all 16 stones, our team stone was closest to the centre of the house, which means we score a point. 1-0 to us. On the second end. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Whoa, 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 with my stone guarding the centre, this makes it much harder for my opponents to score. Lionel's our rock star here. No, no, he did no. it again. It's a team effort. That's amazing, right? The second end scored in our favour, so we were two points up. Our opponents won the last end, but overall it was our victory with a score of 2-1. Okay. Well, done. Okay. well done. She did really well. Especially that centre guard she made. Like, spot on. You're spot on, man. So proud of you, DVR. Thank you for being so patient with me and guiding me through this. You're welcome. You're and, and making the first game a winning game. The Winter Olympics just ended. We have been receiving a lot of inquiries from the public wanting to join our club. We have rocks. We have members who can curve. Hopefully one day, Singapore will send a team to the Winter Olympics. I want to see you in Winter Olympics. Thank it's you. It's a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. Nana. The experience with these players have been amazing. Uh, when I hear their stories about how they train on their own and fund themselves for their own tournaments, so much passion for this sport. If anything, my biggest takeaway is regardless what challenges are thrown at you, obstacles you face, just keep pushing through it and just have an end goal and you'll make it there.